Chief Meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. Good afternoon, friends, and a very happy Tuesday to you. Storms will be around tomorrow and Thursday. Thankfully, it won't be as rainy by the weekend. Yes, we'll still have some rain around, but rain chances will come down substantially. And we could be looking at a slight drop in humidity next week. And anything will make a difference, considering it is very soupy out there. At least with the rain and the cloud cover, our temperatures did not get into the 80s for most spots, mainly in the upper 70s and lower 80s for a couple of spots. Right now, it is dreary out there. It's cloudy. We have wet roads. Thankfully, rain coverage has come down. Rain intensity has come down as well. And we'll hold about maybe a 40 to 50 percent chance for rain uh, after dark. And then some areas of patchy fog overnight. And storm chances do come up once again tomorrow. So here's a look at the view closer to home. We have some light showers over the Baton Rouge Metro, a few heavier showers near the coast. Coast in Terrebonne, Lafouche Parish. And then out west, we have light to moderate rainfall. But these spots we're dealing with the heaviest of rain today in Acadiana and southwest Louisiana. And there were several flood alerts out there. You can see some of those green polygons that pop up. Thankfully, rain totals have been pretty manageable, at least for our area. Some spots did pick up over an inch, whereas some spots only a tenth of an inch. As for tonight, again, around a 20 to 30 percent chance for rain. Temperatures near 70 and some areas of fog by morning. Tomorrow, we'll have numerous to possibly widespread rain with temperatures maybe in the 80s. But if it's like today and the rain gets going a little earlier in the day, Temperatures may only warm into the 70s, but all in all, we're looking at at least another stormy day or so. So the big picture, here's the weather setup. We'll have stormy conditions off and on tomorrow. We have a system in the upper levels that will continue to track to the northeast in the coming days. And with all that moisture in place, that's going to lead to a greater rain coverage. And that's going to be the case tomorrow. Numerous to widespread potentially coming down to about 60% on Thursday. Friday 30 percent, Saturday and Sunday only about 20 to 30 percent, and about 40 percent on Monday. But after I would say Thursday, you don't have to worry about widespread heavy rain or anything like that. Over the next seven days, rain totals on average one to three inches with locally higher amounts. So tomorrow we may have some showers around by mid morning, but as the day goes on, late morning into the afternoon, that's when we're expecting our rain coverage to end. Increase and again could become widespread at one point. Not expecting widespread heavy rain, but a few uh, pockets of moderate to heavy rain will be possible. And then by Thursday, rain coverage becomes more scattered to numerous, and Friday, only isolated in nature. And some clouds will likely linger around at times as well. Meanwhile, in the tropics, we have Hurricane Sam, max sustained winds of 130 miles per hour, currently a Cat 4 hurricane, and it is expected to curve out to sea and stay a pretty strong hurricane for that matter. There are also two other waves off the coast of Africa, Invest 90 and Invest 91. Looking at some of the computer models, they do take them out to sea, so let's hope that stays that way. But if it changes, we will be sure to let you know. The next names on the list, Victor and then Wanda. No threats to the Gulf of Mexico right now. So again, stormy at times Wednesday and Thursday. By the weekend, highs will be in the mid-80s. Mornings will be in the 60s. And next week, highs will be in the lower 80s with mornings in the mid-60s. 60s. Carly.